How's it going everybody? Welcome back to Mojo Grip Mike here. Today I am showing you a very unique airplane. We're going to check out the Cicada TB10. Stay tuned. This is a name you don't hear too often, at least when it comes to America's civil aviation. But guys, this airplane is called the TB10, made by Cicada. It's a French company and it's a four-seater the best comparable airplane I can think of when it comes to the TB10 is the DA40. Even the Sling TSI would be in the same category as this airplane. But if you're looking for a budget airplane or first airplane to either train or just use to build time, this should be on the list. And I'll tell you why. Let's go through it. You can see it's a two-blader prop. Big nose here. One thing the TB10 or Sokata, this family of airplane, is known for is the cabin space you get with this it has one of the best cabin room in the industry period okay and again these airplanes they were built early from the early 90s into the 2000s and you can get them for a pretty good price now there are different uh classes of this you have the tb9 the tb10 which is this model here and then you have the 20 the TB20 20 and 21, and I believe those have retractable landing gear. Uh, this is a fixed landing gear, again, why it's great for training and just to build time. And one of the things that people say about this airplane is that it's just a heavy boat, you know? It doesn't go as fast, but again, it wasn't built to go fast. It was built more for comfort. Now, I would say that the TB10 or this series of airplanes were the first Cirrus. When you think of Cirrus and its comfort level, these were the first to do it. And up front here, it's also called the Tobago. Usually you hear pilots talk about this airplane, they say the Tobago. It uses a light coming 180 horsepower engine. And in terms of the performance, which we'll talk about later, Again, it's very comparable to the DA40. It's a two-bladed prop, Hartzell, and it is a constant speed prop. And I'll show you the levers inside. When also you look at the nose here, you can see how big the air vents are for that engine. And the nose wheel, nothing fancy or unique here. Your standard fixed gear. Um, one thing I do like about this airplane, again, they, they really thought about comfort. And so you see the gall doors, you've got one here and you've got another one on the other side. For more so, if you get closer, you see how wide the opening is. So to get in and out is not gonna be a problem, even if you're on the bigger side. And you look here, you can easily put this up. Let's see, this is a very old airplane, by the way. I believe this one is a 1991 model. And so you can always pull this chair up and get to the back there. You've got some luggage room back there. I'll also show you the, the luggage opening. But before we get to that, the tanks, the fuel tanks, you've got about 26 on each side. And so you've, I would say roughly you would have about 50 gallons usable fuel for this airplane. And that buys you a good four hours of flying. So you can go about 500, 600 miles, depending on how fast uh, you, you're pushing it or how much power you're using. But usually the, the, the cruise speed on this thing, again, it's not that fast. You're looking at 110, 120, but you get up there in altitude, you can probably push 140 knots in this airplane. All right, and this here also, the baggage door, again, on the bigger side. So you can easily access your, your baggage compartment here. But let's get in. Let's get in because I think this is where the TB10 shows out the cabin now you look at this cabin width. let me show you from the top here you've got about 49 inches from door to door so this is one of the widest cabins if not the widest cabin uh, when you compare it to again the DA40 and all the other small airplanes the best comparable airplane you can compare to when it comes to the cabin room is the Cirrus itself so you, you're at 50 inches and you can tell uh, one of the things you can appreciate about this airplane also, it, it looks fitting like a car. You look at the back seat, you look at the front seat, 
it's really built like a car you see the middle console there and you look at also the yoke so you've got your standard yokes here and these things are big this is this is the one of the most unique yokes i've seen but if you it looks big on the you know on the outside but once you actually hold it it's it's pretty handy and your hands are, are very comfortable on it the panel you've got your standard six pack old school but you've got all you need but if you come to the middle here you see you've also got a garmin setup the gns 550 and 430 so this airplane is an ifr platform you can use it to fly ifr or train uh, your in for your instrument in this plane, but let me get inside and show you the comfort level of this thing So y'all I am in the interior of this airplane and I can tell you You're gonna be comfortable in this thing now the seats may need some some updating But you look at the room in here guys. It's it's pretty roomy. It's pretty roomy That 49 inches of cabin width will, will go a long way and I'm your average guy 5'10", 160, 170 pounds. Uh, somebody on the bigger side, I think will be perfect in here. And these seats, I believe, can scroll up and down. You can you can move your seats up or down, and the rudder pedals are right there, so those are static. Uh, and if you look at my leg room here, let's see if we can get the, see? That's my leg room, very comfortable here. As a matter of fact, if I was flying this airplane, I would have it precisely at this setting. My hands can easily reach, but let me show you what they're working with here. We'll go through the panel a little bit. So as I said earlier, you've got your standard six pack, and this is basically your flight instrument here. And then you've got some of your engine instrument over here. And your circuit breakers are right here. This is kind of cool. Uh, in typical, I, when I think of circuit breakers, you usually have them here on bigger airplanes or like jets. And whatnot so it's it's nicely hidden here and it doesn't take away from the room that you have for your legs and then you come to the middle here like I said you've got your instrument panel and you've got your throttle mixture lever here and then you've got your carb there and one thing this airplane also has is your nose trim again this is mechanical so you just it's within reach whenever you're you're flying you just crawl up and down to get there and then if you go further back this is your fuel selector ergonomics counts guys whenever you're looking at an airplane ergonomics always counts uh, I don't like whenever I'm in an airplane and say for example the the fuel selector is all the way down you know no pun intended on Cessnas and Moonies but I don't like that about these planes because you have to basically reach down while you're flying like that to be able to switch your, your fuel or, or anything like that. Whereas for this plane, it's right there. Right there. You just switch it within reach and your flaps right there. So ergonomically, I think they did a wonderful job with this airplane. Now, if you go to the back seat, it's pretty roomy back there, guys. Look at the leg room. Now, depending on the height, and weight of whoever's sitting back there. Again, you can push the seats up and down to give room, but ultimately it would depend on the person's size. And if you look at this interior, this whole cabin, guys, why well, I said this was the series before the series, you can see that everything is padded, nicely padded. Uh, and for a 91 model airplane, I think this one is still in very, very good shape. And it extends all the way to the back there. So this is this is beautiful. Now, the downside of this airplane, I'll step out and I'll talk to you about that. So here we are back on the outside. As I was saying, the downside for this airplane is the speed, performance. Again, it's it's sort of middle ground. If you don't care so much about getting somewhere fast, this is an airplane to truly consider because the comfort that makes up for it, I think is great. And also, this airplane is pretty economical. And why compared to the Diamond DA40 is you're only sipping about nine to 10 gallons of fuel per hour. And that's giving you, let's just say 120 knot screw, uh, cruise speed. And if you get up in altitude, you can go up to 140. As a matter of fact, when they flew this in yesterday, uh, they were doing about 140 knots. So this is a true cross country airplane, take it a few hundred miles, but it's perfect for training. As a matter of fact, 
the French company built it just for that. So you can get it for your training and you can use it as a personal airplane. Now the price. This is a budget airplane like I said. You can find these as cheap as $40,000. Okay, now depending on the condition and how much time is left on the engine, you can get it on the low end for 40, but you can also get it all on the high end for seventy, eighty thousand dollars. So you're 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 playing around forty thousand dollars there, uh, depending on the condition of the airplane. But you will be getting a really good airplane now. The maintenance and ownership costs, I can't really speak on that. Uh, but once I get more information on it, I will post in the description of the video. So you guys make sure you check that out. But I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if this is your first time, be sure to subscribe to the channel with the notification bell on. A great way to support Mojo Grip is by becoming an MVP member. Go on to mojogrip.net forward slash MVP and sign up there. Thank you so much for watching. And guys, please check out our sponsor for this video. It's Cold Flight. Cold Flight is great for maintaining your airplane, especially when you have an older airplane like this one. Uh, it's great to help you keep log of your airplane maintenance. You can also send records directly to your AP mechanic through it and you don't miss any maintenance. Check out coflight.com forward slash mojo grip and sign up for your free trial. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will catch you on the next one.